So, so Don shook everybody's hand at the table. And fast forward 10 years, 12 years, I'm sitting in federal prison and boxing come across my mind. I'm writing my autobiography and I was like, wow, what would have happened that day if you'd have told Don King you had $3 million and you was willing to give him all that money wow. to take you with him? Where would you be at today? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Come on, man, we here Boss. in Los Angeles, California, man. Boss. We Hey, I done ran into a gym in here. My guy, Freeway, Ricky Ross. Yeah, we gonna talk. We gonna man, up, thank man. you for coming on the show, man. We are doing it again. Man, I love doing it too, man. It's, it's something else, man, about, like, when, you come, when I come out here now, every time I've been out here and did Boss Talk, I always get to interview Freeway. That's my highlight moment. So I was kind of nervous. Cause I was like, man, am I gonna get him? They said he out of town. He in Vegas. I said, like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, I, went up, I, I just went to Vegas. Uh, you know, Top Rank had a fight yeah, uh, yeah. Thursday with Telefimo, and uh, I went up there because one of my guys, Troy Isley, is signed to Top Rank. Okay. So I'm helping him now, showing him how to market himself. Great fighter, mm, mm. bronze medalist. Uh, but I don't believe that he is getting the due respect he should get. So. Um, he hollered at me down in uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. I was down at the National Scout Fighters, you know, <laughs> looking on the rocks and uh, looking for the next youngster. You yeah, know? yeah, so yeah. I, I understand that the next one is gonna come for the Nationals. Yeah, 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 and yeah. The next great one is gonna come out of them Nationals. You've been focused on that like crazy ever since you came home. Ever since you've been there, you just spoke. You tapped into boxing. What made you just get into boxing like that? Let me tell. It's a long story. <laughs> I'm here. I was in Vegas one year. I think it was the Marvin Hagler and Sugar Ray Leonard fight. Okay, okay, we back was, then, yeah. We was at Caesar's Palace, and uh, Don King yeah, yeah. came Shout up out. to the table, and he shook everybody's hand at the table. It was a bunch of us from L.A. We had a great big table, and plenty of food. Plenty of food, everything. Pretty good. girls. Hey! You know what I'm saying? He couldn't miss us. <laughs> no way he was going to walk to the casino. And, then, and, and, you know, some of the guys at the table is the inventors yeah, yeah. of this big yeah. Medallions yeah. that you see people wearing now. Yeah, yeah, these, these were the first guys. Matter of fact, my guy, uh, Tommy, the first time I saw his, I thought it was a hubcap mm -hmm. off a car. Wow, is that big? <laughs> I remember when they was wearing like the Ben sign. You remember that? That's what I think his was a Ben. The Ben. They would put the big Ben's emblem. Some of them were snatching them off cars. I remember, believe it or not, they were snatching them. No, 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 no. No, I'm saying, this, this one, they were, they were customizing. They were down <laughs> But the youngsters seen it, and they were so amazed by it, they started jerking them off cars and wearing them. I'm telling you, I remember that. And that I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Because they was mimicking what they were seeing and what you were just saying. Right, right. And, that, right. and that's something about influence. It's like, man, they see it, and they try to do it. They want to be it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, Absolutely. So, so, so Don shook everybody's hand at the table. And fast forward 10 years, 12 years, I'm sitting in federal prison and boxing come across my mind. I'm writing my autobiography and I was like, wow, what would have happened that day if you'd have told Don King you had $3 million and you was willing to give him all that money wow. to take you with him? Where would you be at today? And, uh, you know, I look back at all the stuff Don King mm -hmm. had did, you know, the Mike Tyson. This was before Mike Tyson was even. Even before he was champion. Before Mike Tyson was even. Nobody, even, even nobody knew him. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so, uh, and so many other great fighters that Don King had that came after that incident. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew that I would have been able to get in and, and, and bring some type of um, value mm. to it. My goal is anybody that I mess with is to bring value to them. You know, uh, doing an interview with you right now. Oh man, I want to bring value to. I always do to what you're doing. If I can't bring value, why am I here? Right, right. You know what, 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 what good is it? So, when, when I was writing my book and I thought about it, and I was like, wow, you probably wouldn't even be in prison right now. Oh, my, if you'd had three million. Well, no, I had it. You had it. I had the money. You just didn't do it. I just didn't give it. Mindset to him. wasn't there. Wasn't focused on that at the no, time. No, I just didn't know. You know, nobody explained the future to me. 
Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. And I had investments, you know, I had motel, tire shops, beauty salons, but I never thought about, you could be a boxing promoter. But you think about it, when you sit in, in prison and you, you get to think about a lot of things. Yeah, your mind get real so, clear. You, you get real clear. <laughs> so hey, you start thinking about hey, everything. Hey, them people slap a life sentence on your ass. Oh, man. You start thinking about a whole lot of good stuff <laughs> that, that you're going to miss. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I remember some guys, we were going through some things. They said, yeah, man, come on, ride with me. People would think you really would ride. you just thinking about things that was going on in the world. Yeah. You know, <laughs> when you're locked up, you're not going out there, but your mind can take you there. So yeah. that's what oh, absolutely. Explaining. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Your mind is, 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 is super, super powerful. And, you know, and, and that's one of the other things that I learned is to allow yourself to dream. Yeah. You know, and, and that's one of the things that, that I really feel we as black people mm -hmm. have lost our ability to dream. Man. And a dream is vision. Yeah, yeah. You know, a dream is something saying that this is possible. Mm. Your mind is telling you that this is possible, that you could accomplish this goal. Have you ever had a chance to read that article they did in, in LA Magazine on me? When, what, when did they do it? 2013. No, I didn't read it. No, I really, how, what was it about? Like, did they, what did it capture? When he came to interview me, he was writing my obituary. Wow. He said he was writing my obituary. And I was telling him about my business plan. He said, oh, you writing a business plan and, and, and you dead. <laughs> what the hell are you doing with a business plan? You don't need no business plan. You need a, a funeral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was laying out my business plan. You know, oh, I'm going to get into boxing. Oh, I'm going to have a clothing line. Oh, I'm going to do a movie. Oh, I'm going to have books. Oh, I'm going to have mixtapes. I'm going to be working with rappers. I'm going to do concerts. Wow. Visionary. You know, that's the thing, man. Like, when you look at where you come from, all the tri you, the trifecta, the things that you went through to get to where we at now, nobody could have wrote that. No, no way. No, no way. No, no. Nobody sees you doing everything that you've, you've embodied over a span of, uh, like, life. I didn't see it. No way you could see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. It's, it starts to come gradually. Now, now, you have the first vision, right? But that vision can be altered, yeah. you know, can be made bigger, uh, made brighter. Yeah. Uh, um, so, so no, I, I didn't know. I mean, I never thought, because I, I ended my time up in Texas. Yeah, yeah. So being in Texas, I no longer got L.A. newspaper, L.A. news. When I get out of jail, I don't even know marijuana is legal. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.